Why Lucas Black's Christopher LaSalle left NCIS, New Orleans. Why Christopher LaSalle from Lucas Black left NCIS, New Orleans. Welcome to Dream USA 24 on my channel, NCIS. New Orleans is favored among fans. In season six, Lucas Black departed from the NCIS spinoff. Why was Christopher LaSalle, his character, written out? On NCIS, New Orleans, Lucas Black's Christopher LaSalle played a pivotal role. He swiftly gained popularity among fans, and many were shocked to learn of his passing in season six. Later on, Black provided an explanation for his leaving, demonstrating that his decision was not motivated by resentment. Thank you and please share my channel. CBS has achieved great success with the NCIS franchise, with the offshoot NCIS, Hawaii having been renewed for a third season and the most recent spin-off NCIS. Sydney premiering in November 2023, the original series has been running for 20 seasons. Next comes NCIS, New Orleans, which returned in 2021 but was abruptly cancelled to the dismay of fans who were still talking about the spin-off with Lucas Black in the role of Christopher LaSalle. Every NCIS series, including the original and its spin-offs, has seen a significant number of deaths. Every episode has a tense realism to it because being an agent for the Naval Criminal Investigative Service often involves situations where life or death is involved. However, that doesn't make any character death less contentious in the eyes of the audience. LaSalle lasted practically the whole duration of NCIS, New Orleans, and he was a fan favorite. But in one of the show's most poignant plots, the character abruptly disappeared, shocking viewers and leaving them to wonder what became of LaSalle on NCIS, New Orleans. Updated by Katie Dahl on November 13, 2023, fans were shocked to learn that Lucas Black was leaving NCIS, New Orleans and some even claim that following his final episode, the quality of the show declined. The way NCIS, New Orleans handled Black's exit and the developments in his career since then are now reflected in this article. Christopher LaSalle from NCIS, New Orleans was a person who. David McCallum, the 90-year-old star of NCIS and the man from Unsold Dies. From the start, Christopher LaSalle was a pivotal figure in NCIS, New Orleans. LaSalle was already supervisory special agent Dwayne Pride's right-hand man when the show premiered, portrayed by Scott Bakula. Three things made LaSalle well-known, his love of the Alabama Crimson Tide, his southern accent, and his long list of personal problems. But LaSalle appeared to have turned his life around in his last season. He was seen in season six going to church with Dr. Loretta Wade and feeling that he was making a greater contribution to society. Unfortunately, viewers should have been suspicious of that happiness. Matthew 5-9, the sixth episode of season six, features LaSalle getting shot while looking into his brother's death at the hands of an Alabama drug gang. Surrounded by his teammates, he passed away from his wounds after being brought to the hospital. Although LaSalle was honored with a wake at Pride's Bar, fans of NCIS, New Orleans never forgot him. Lucas Black left NCIS, New Orleans for what reason? For 135 weeks, Grey's Anatomy, NCIS, and Co. Kamalon rule all major streaming platforms. Over the course of the show NCIS, New Orleans saw a number of actor departures, just like any procedural. Jennifer Esposito left the original NCIS after just one season, and after two and a half seasons, Dick Wolf's FBI, Most Wanted fired Julian McMahon, while many were upset that LaSalle was killed off in NCIS, New Orleans, some even hoping it was one of Pride's worst nightmares. The reason actor Lucas Black departed is the same as the reason Mickey Mahon is no longer affiliated with the FBI. Black clarified that he made the decision to depart New Orleans in an interview with the UK's Express. All throughout my career, there was a concern because I would observe how the entertainment industry would destroy families, he stated. Black revealed that throughout the first three seasons of the show, he put in around 70 hours a week at work. Fans cannot hold Lucas Black responsible for his decision to leave NCIS, New Orleans in order to spend more time with his family. NCIS, following the death of Christopher LaSalle, New Orleans was unable to survive. NCIS Day, CBS hosts a mini-marathon to honor the 20th anniversary of the show. Black's career and personal life required Christopher LaSalle's death, but NCIS, New Orleans might have suffered as a result. 
viewers publicly voiced their displeasure with the choice to kill off LaSalle, announcing that they would cease to watch if LaSalle never returned. In response to Black's post announcing his leaving, Twitter slash X user at tease 4 bama 13 said the show wouldn't be the same without him. Many viewers believed that LaSalle was a crucial member of the team and that the plot would unravel without him. Some even wondered if the passing of a character that people grew to love would hurt the show's ratings and viewership. Specifically examining the ratings for season 6, it seemed that LaSalle's passing had helped the show for a while, rising steadily to a peak of 7.05 million viewers for episode 10. However, the show then declined, essentially hovering around the 5 to 6.5 million mark. The number of viewers for each episode of season 7 dropped substantially to between 4 and 5 million. The seventh season of the show was cancelled due to low viewership, since it was unable to achieve even half of the original NCI's numbers. Another explanation would be that CBS intended to highlight NCI's Hawaii, their newest series, more, but LaSalle's untimely death could also be connected to the show's sharp decline in viewers from season 6 to season 7. Some Reddit users thought that Black's exit was the straw that broke the camel's back because of the poor story quality, the switch to a Sunday time slot following NCIS, Los Angeles, and other factors. The career of Lucas Black away from NCIS, New Orleans. Why did Cote de Pablo leave NCIS in season 11? Black hasn't made many appearances since leaving NCIS. New Orleans in 2019, which is probably because he is sticking to his original justification, that is, to concentrate on his family. He played one of his most well-known roles to date, seen Boswell, again in the ninth Fast and Furious film, F9, in 2021. Since NCIS, New Orleans, he has also contributed to a couple Christian films on the Pure Flix original streaming service, including Legacy Peak and Birthright Outlaw. Kindly subscribe to my channel. I'm grateful. LaSalle's earlier roles, both before and after NCIS, New Orleans are a good place for fans to see more of his range. The actor has a history of leading roles in highly regarded films, including 42, Friday Night Lights, The Miracle Worker, The X-Files, and Promised Land. In addition, he played a recurrent part in the horror TV series American Gothic. The actor regularly uploads footage of himself and his family hunting and fishing on YouTube for anyone who are interested in following his life away from the spotlight.